Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to my studio, welcome to my channel. Um, today I have my Dollar Tree haul for this week to share with you. Uh, yesterday I was uh, feeling slightly better, <laughs> oh, much better actually. I had, I had some voice in the morning. So I went shopping, I did a big Dollar Tree haul, and I did do a Dollarama haul which I just filmed. And like in the Dollarama haul, what I did yesterday when I got home, since I had no voice, I I did film uh, a silent video of this the the food snacky things I hauled from Dollar Tree, just so I could put those away. And because you know, I I everybody wanted a snack on some of the stuff I bought, including myself. So um, yeah, I just got that out of the way. So that's uh, later on in in the video. So I hope uh, you will enjoy uh, seeing that. So now I'm just going to show you what I, I what else I bought at Dollar Tree yesterday. And there's a lot of stuff. Um, well, first, let, let's just get started. I picked up some more of these carabiner clips. Um, these things seem to disappear quite quickly in my house. I don't know. I, I think it's my husband, really. He, he loses them and he won't admit to it. He doesn't know where they are. Blah, blah. So I just bought more because they're very practical um, to hang stuff on gym bags and whatever. So I got that. And I had some new of the e.l.f. makeup um, that I've seen. I've seen a lot of other people on YouTube haul these. Oh, here's my other set of carabiner clips. And so I picked these up because they were new at my store. This one is the concealer. And the only, the prod, the health products in my Dollar Tree only are available in the limited color palette. <laughs> There's only always just like one color. Uh, so there's this concealer and apricot beige. And uh, this one is the shimmering facial whip. And I think it's pink lemonade or something like that. Um, no idea. But I bought them to try them. I mean, you know, for a dollar twenty-five, dollar twenty-five because I'm in Canada, dollar if you're in the US. And I picked up a pair of these uh, really cheap flip-flops uh, for a DIY that I, I want to do, um, a project that I want to do. I have a book to review, so I wanted to try out a project, and I needed a pair of flip-flops for that. And along with that, I also bought some yarn, some very thin knitting yarn. I picked these colors so I could make this uh, project with the... So now I've got these two little balls of yarn. These are Crafter Square. They're very small and they're very thin yarn. So that's for my, my little project that you will only see if it turns out okay. Because if it's an epic failure, <laughs> I might not show it to you. <laughs> uh, happy to see that they finally got some more of the big size hair clippies. So I picked these up because I... I break these so easily. I go through a bunch of these in the summertime when I go swimming. I like to put my hair up. Oh, <clears throat> in the hardware aisle, they had more of the mini luggage locks with the little keys. I don't use these on my luggage. It's useless to put these on your luggage because you know you're not supposed to lock up your luggage anyway, and these things break so easily. I just bought these to use as uh, crafting embellishments. So. I bought a couple packages of these. I think I bought two. And um, also in the hardware section, they like my store has been revamping each aisle, uh, aisle by aisle, week by week. Uh, well, last week they were uh, cleaning up the craft aisle section and uh, wait till I'll, I took a picture of it so I'll show you later and so they a lot of they're just like restocking all the shelves they're getting a lot of stuff in they have to put it on the shelves and uh, it's really nice it's really getting well stocked now 
So there was a lot of new stuff in my hardware section that the hardware section that hadn't been there in a while. So I got up some more of these clamps. I've been looking for these for a while. So finally they came in. And I, I use a lot of clamps in my work, the stuff I do. So I was happy to find these ones. And I did find some cuter ones in the craft section. And in the like gardening, I guess, or you know, where they have the, the pots and the, the fake flowers and stuff. I had these uh, citronella streamers, so I bought a few of these to try them out, and the cashier was telling me that she uh, tried these at her place, she had like a little get together, and she said they work pretty well and they look pretty. So they're just, they're streamers and they hang like serpentines there. Um, so, oh, I'm looking forward to trying these outside here in my own, my own patio. Let's see, um, would be nice, and they're decorative. So they're effective, they're supposed to, you know, keep bugs away, but they're also decorative, so that's a bonus. And here's another makeup. This is, this was new, uh, Ultimate Length Mascara. They had the lengthening one, the strengthening one. They had different kinds. They had a lot. They had just gotten a big load of these uh, mascaras, so I'm going to try this one out. Ultimate Length. They only come in, they only have them in black, of course, at, dollar, at my Dollar Tree. So I have a whack load of crafty stuff, and I'm trying to keep it separate from the other stuff that I bought. And I didn't do a good job of separating my stuff beforehand. There's another set of these heavy-duty clamps. And, oh, I got a little bicycle kit. <clears throat> I bought one of these last year and it got used and uh, we were very happy to have it so I got a second one for this year and oh here's a tube of fix all adhesive I have not tried this super glue but um, there's always something that needs fixing in the house so I thought that might be worth a try I got some more of the uh, fashion the kids fashion nails because they fit my nails. I got this set here. Oops, there's glare. And I got another set of the polka dot ones. I thought they were cute. Somehow everything was fitting in this bag, but now I'm spreading it out on my desk and there's no more room. <laughs> um, like I said, my hard, the hardware aisle at my store was just fully stocked. So they had a lot of these little kits for uh, hooks like picture hanging hooks and other kind of hooks. So I got these. I love that they, you know, like this stuff comes in these nice, like, reusable little boxes. You can use these for all sorts of nifty little things in your, your garage and your, your workshop and your craft room especially. <laughs> um, I got some of these scoops, the uh, supposed to be disposable one, but I reuse these over and over can use these in my my own food bins in my house and my pantry you know for the sugar and oatmeal and all that stuff so there's always a scoop to scoop stuff out of the bulk uh, oatmeal or bulk rice and flour and things like that so there's four in here for dollar twenty five I'm going to make some piles and I'll get back to you I'm back okay so I made I took everything out of the bag and I kind of divided it so it would run a little more smoothly now. Uh, two more beauty products of the e.l.f. that was new at my store. Uh, this this uh, defining eye brush. And I got that. And oh, I saw they just put these up, the tweezers. I'm very fussy with tweezers, so I'll give these a try. Nine times out of ten tweezers end up in my toolbox and not my makeup toolbox because um yeah I'm very particular about tweezers so I don't know if these will make the cut we'll see now on to the really my favorite stuff all the creative crafty stuff so last week when I went to my Dollar Tree I was like oh my goodness what's happening in the store they were um they, they, it was quite, it was messier than it is this week, and uh, they had taken a lot of stuff off the craft shelves and the pegs, 
and I saw the upcoming floor plan and I, I, I looked at it and I was like, oh, okay, they're just um, revamping the, um, the craft section. And you could tell that they were uh, making room for some new line, uh, new stuff that was coming in and moving some stuff over. And uh, they were just rearranging where they had other things. And, and, you know, and they were working within the space that they have, of course. And so this week when I went there, I was kind of nervous to see, oh, my God, what happened to my craft section? Because uh, I know I... Uh, some of you told me uh, I better stock up on uh, all the the forever and time and craft medley and anything that multi craft makes um, because there wasn't going to be carried anymore in the Dollar Tree and I was like really that, that doesn't seem right um, so I was asked I tried to get the you know the real scoop on this like how do you know this who told you this. Where did you get that information? And I was like, eh, you know, I'm, unless I hear it from the horse's mouth, um, I'm not really going to know if it's true. So I was like, well, just because one person told another YouTuber that, that doesn't mean that's the, the case for the entire chain, for the entire country. So I'm, I'm not sure about that. It just didn't, didn't seem to match and so I, I've, I've asked I've been trying to I've been waiting for someone to give me a clear answer as to where did you hear this and where is this official information and no one's given me an answer and I was thinking well did, did you talk to someone at Multicraft directly did you talk to anybody there and I don't know nobody said anything about that so I'm like well if you don't ask them directly how do you know that's true? And I'm here to tell you people that lines come and go in stores. And unfortunately, as much as I, I love that, uh, that distributor and I love all the products that they bring into the store, if the retailer decides to go with another distributor or supplier, you know, that's their, that's their prerogative. Unfortunately, that's, that's how the retail industry is, uh, and I, I ought to know about that. This, this, you know, this is what I, I work in, and my husband works directly in, so we know a lot about that, and it's just how things go. And, you know, companies come out with new products all the time and new lines, and they are always, it's very hard to sell within uh, the discount stores, the dollar stores, and uh, it's you know there's a lot of negotiation and everything is profit 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 so I don't know if if that is true now I didn't think it should be taken upon me to find out if it was true I thought well you know it's up to whoever was told this first and um, and this is going around to you know get your information but uh, I'm still waiting to hear back from my contacts, and uh, I haven't heard anything back. So I'm, I either they're just laughing at me for even asking the question, or it's really none of my business. So, uh, but all that to say that when I went back yesterday into my Dollar Tree, oh my goodness, was I so pleasantly surprised to see how nice my Dollar Tree was becoming, the transformation the aisle where they have all the gift wrapping okay all the uh baby shower and bridal stuff was all fully stocked and it was really really nice and they had tons tons the pegs were overflowing with with stuff for um they had all the uh, bride's wish they had tons of bride's wish stuff they had these little bags which i got and they and so many so many so many things and I was like I know this is this is distributed by Multicraft so uh, there was tons of the Brides Wish stuff and these are things that I picked up for crafting purposes I thought these would make great paper dolls um <laughs> so I got I got the these are the favor box 
favorite boxes, the bride and this is the groom. So there's 10 in each, a dollar 25. This will make for some cheap little paper dolls. I picked up these little bags. These are uh, shimmer organza bags. You know, they're like little favor bags. And I think there's four or three. There's three, three of these little mesh bag, not mesh, yeah, organza bags with this silvery color on them. And the little duped or burlap bags um, come in a pack of three also. One, or two. Oh, pack of two. They're just thick. Yeah, pack of two. So you get those. And I, I just look at these as possible other type of party favors or crafting projects. So, but then I, I walked around the corner and I was met with an entire end cap of uh, yarn, needles, a whole bunch of really neat products that I know uh, are all from Multicraft. And then I turn around and look at the other end cap and I was full, full of uh, kids' creations. The, yeah, this one, the Crafty, the Crafty Kids line. They had tons of all this label stuff, the green stuff. Uh, and I picked up more of these little cubes. Because I know I've bought some in the past. For the life of me, I have no idea where they are right now. So I just got two more packages. Because I know these are fun to use in crafting. And they're so good. They're such a good price. So I got these. And, but they had a whole bunch of stuff in the, uh, with this label, the Crafty Kids. The end cap was all like Crafty Kids. It was, it was fully stocked. And, and, and the Crafty Kids has lots of, uh, child, uh, craft stuff and uh, child safe paints and the big chunky brushes and the cups and all this really neat stuff. So, and then I turned down my favorite aisle. I was so afraid to turn down my favorite aisle because the rumors that were going around and oh my God, I was like, what? It was beautiful. It was so beautiful. My, the, my favorite aisle was like, ah. Oh. Like, you know, it was like heaven. It was just beautiful. It was so neat. It was so tidy. And I know that's not going to last. After this weekend, it's not going to be that tidy, I'm sure. But it was so stocked full of craft supplies. I've never seen it that well stocked. So uh, I even took a little video, and I'll insert that here.
You see what I mean? I was I was pleasantly surprised. So uh, I jumped on it, and I thought I have got to get my favorite things while I'm here, because I know that this store uh, doesn't get shipments as often. So I'm just gonna take whatever I want now, and uh, because it could be a while before they replenish it. I don't know if it's because I, I that store is in a more poor area or something, but uh, I just you know they don't I don't they don't seem to restock as often as some of the big urban stores. So I was like, okay, I'm getting stuff. So if if uh, other Dollar Trees are getting rid of the um, Forever in Time and all this multi craft stuff, well, it's all ending up at my store. That's all I can say. So I picked up one of each of these packages of the Master Stroke brushes. I am really surprised at how nice these brushes are. I can't believe, like, for a dollar twenty-five, I get three really good brushes in each set. And I have three different packages here because they are different. They're all different sizes, and they all do different things in painting. And I got these ones to use, especially for my watercolor. I probably have every single one of these brushes already, but I already use them for acrylics. So I just want to keep these separate for my watercolors. And I really like these brushes. Uh, I find they're really good quality. I mean, for a buck twenty-five, and they're golden Taclon. They are good bristles. They're soft, and the I haven't had one brush fail me so far. All the bristles always stay. None, none fall out. Not like some of those other inexpensive brushes that I I bought. So I got more of those. And they, they finally have more of the white metallic markers. These, they have been in my store. Like, they come in, and then they're gone. <laughs> they come in, and they're gone. So I was like, oh, I was waiting in my... So they're finally had, they finally had a whole bunch of the metallic ones. And I just wanted to sock up of the white ones because I go through white so much. So I picked up a few of these uh, white metallic Forever in Time brand um, markers. I got myself another pair of these little scissors. I love these little scissors. I already have several pairs. But they're all floating around. They're with different projects. They're in different bags and stuff. So I just got another pair because I really like them. And they, they didn't have a lot of these. Uh, this, I'm not sure if this one will be around for much longer. But I just got myself another pair because I really like them. I got some more of the little glass jars. They had just put out a few last week. There were just a couple on the peg, but this week it was the peg was fully stocked. So I got two more of these. They're really a great size. If you use any of those little enamel paints, like for testers, you know, for the car paint, uh, car models and stuff, they're about the same size. So I'll give you an idea. So. Really, the reason I wanted some of these is sometimes my son and I do some enamel painting and we like to mix our own colors. So this is a good way to preserve. And it's we only need little, little amounts of color, so this is perfect. Um, oh, I forgot. Oh, I hadn't seen a big brush like this at Dollar Tree in a while, plus the liner. So this is a wash brush, we call it. And so I got this one too. So what a good deal. The other thing I picked up, I hadn't seen these in a while, and I'm glad they brought them back, so I got myself another set of these craft clamps. I know earlier I showed you the clamps I got from the hardware section, uh, but these are the small ones, and they have pink. They're really cute with the pink, and you actually get more in here than in the hardware section ones. So, And I, have, I bought a bunch of these, I think, last year. And I noticed that when I use, I work on projects, I've used all of them, and I didn't have enough. So I hopefully I'll have enough with these and my hardware store clamps for my next projects. I already have these, but I picked them up anyway because they're fun to have. I picked these up anyway because they're fun to have when I have friends over for crafting, so everybody can have their own tools. Uh... Oh, they, yeah, this was with the knitting stuff, the yarn and knitting and the sewing stuff. And they had a lot more of these uh, co natural coconut buttons. They look like wood, but they're actually coconut. Did you know that? 
well, it doesn't matter if coconut or wood, but uh, yeah, they're coconut. So I got more of these buttons because I like to use them in my crafts, especially the little ones. They make really cute centers of flowers. I got more of those. And it's not like I don't have brown buttons in my stash. I do, but they're all mixed up. These ones are separated. <laughs> uh, oh, something they were low on this week because they had so much last week, but these were very popular, was the uh, laser cut wood shapes. So I got the last owl package that they had at my store. I can see why this one is the, probably the most popular shape. All the other one, there were still lots of the other designs, but the owl one, this was the last one left. So I picked this one up again. And they still had lots of these. So I got one of that. And the stars, I really like the stars. They're so pretty. So these are the laser cut wood shapes. And you get four pieces in each one. Yeah, four pieces in each of these bags. Very cute. And they had restocked the all the jewelry findings from the, the craft medley line were fully stocked. So I picked up more because I I didn't have these and I, I kept going back to say, oh, I hope they get more of these. And finally they did. The ribbon cord clamps. These and they had them I got them in gold and the gold and silver color. Oh, I think I only got two of the silver ones though. So. I got those and I got another package of jump rings because you can never have too many jump rings. Some more of the long eye pins. I use those a lot. Oh, here's my third package of the silver uh, ribbon clamps there. And some crimp beads. And I never buy enough crimp beads. This is so silly. I always do this. I bought two bags, two different sizes, and I should have bought more. So hopefully they'll still have some if and when I go back. <laughs> uh, crimp beads. I love buying these at Dollar Tree. They're so much less expensive. And uh, lobster claws. They only have this small ones. I'm hoping to get more of the bigger ones, but I haven't seen them in a while, so I might have to order them online from my wholesaler. And, oh, oh, here's some more crimp beads. And then finally, I bought more stickers like I need them. Mm, not really. But um, these, they had more of this. The star stickers, the bling gem shapes. So I picked these up. And I like these ones, the circles there. They look like targets. I got those. And I got the frames in silver. <clears throat> and, oh, in the baby shower, <coughs> bridal shower section there, they had, they had the baby stickers. These are so cute. So I got one of each. Uh, in case, you know, uh, I have a card to make for someone or a shower to go to. So I thought these would be handy to have for a little gift. And I picked up two of these summertime stickers. I hadn't seen these at my store yet, and now that I, they have them, I love the flip-flops. and They're just really, really cute. So I got those. And I picked up, um, oh, finally... They came to my store, the Jack uh, Cactus stickers. So I was happy to see those, and I got them. And I got some of the vintage-like jot stickers because I love the vintage look. And I picked up a couple sheets of the Forever in Time, the large stickers on a clear, or a clear background. So I told you it was a lot. I bought a lot of crafty stuff because... Um, they had just fully stocked the shelves and I was pretty happy about that.
that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. Oh, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and share, and stay crafty. Bye!